All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of 360 Detailing. It is a very early morning, and that is for a good reason. I'm here before all my coworkers at my work. Uh, today, we're going to be detailing my dad's battle wagon. This is a 2018 Toyota. Or, oh my gosh, I said Toyota. This is my dad's 2018 Toyota. I said Toyota again. Oh my lord. I have my dad's 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. This is our family battle wagon. This thing has been through thick and thin, uh, as proven with this photo here and here. So this thing has not led an easy life for sure. Uh, but today I got a special episode because Avalon King sent me out one of their kits for their Army Shield 9 ceramic coating kit. So I will be applying that today and I will go through the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. I'd also like to take a moment out to thank Avalon King for sending out one of their kits to me. Um, I hit them up and I'm like, hey, I really like your product. Would you be interested in working together? And they said, yeah, for sure. So they sent me out a kit. And if you like your own kit, I will leave a link in the description for you to get your own. Um, I can't recommend them enough. Like their kit is super easy and super forgiving to work on. Um, it's a great kit if you're a first time ceramic coder, like what I was with my old or with my uh, other car that you saw in a previous video. I think what any company should be able to do is make you feel like a pro the first time you use their product. And that's what Avalon King does. So again, if you want your own kit, hit up the link down below and get your own kit. So stay tuned. This is going to be a very in-depth and a very long episode of 360 Detailing, but you won't want to miss it. It'll be super satisfying and worth the wait. Alright, so I have the complete exterior of the car washed now, and now it's time to move on to the clay bar step. So I'm just going to be using a traditional piece of clay. I know that people like to use the speed clay or the clay mint. Um, I prefer the normal field clay because you can tell when it's smooth and that you don't keep rubbing dirt into the paint. Like with um, the synthetic stuff, I, it's kind of hard for me to tell. Like I, I, I go by feel, which is an old school way, but it works best for me. So. dark paint so it hides a lot of contaminants. Let's see how bad it is. I actually have never looked. Well, it's not too bad. It's quite audible. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but 
after a couple passes it smooths out, but you can definitely hear that it has a lot of contaminants in the paint. I mean, shit, let's see. Mm. See, it's not too bad, but it's definitely not perfect. That's why it's my job to fix it. All right, so real quick, I want to show you what neglect on a car looks like. Um, we drive to Northern Michigan quite a lot with this vehicle, and uh, on the highways, you get quite a lot of bugs. And as you can see, it looks like it's super dirty still, but actually, this is after a wash and clay bar. Um, the only way that you can get these embedded bugs out is normally with a, a cutting compound, which is what I'm going to use on the hood. Um, but that just goes to show how important it is to just keep up to date on washing your car. I don't know actually how well it'll show up on camera, but if you look closely, like, take my fingernail, that it doesn't come out. So, it, it, I mean, it looks dirty, and it's actually clean, which is a really aggravating thing for a detailer. I wanted to be hip and cool. So here comes the most fun part about anything, it's masking. So I gotta mask off all this plastic so it doesn't look all gross and white when I go to apply the ceramic coating. Let's get to it. All right, so now that we're to the polishing stage, I'm gonna use some Ultimate Compound, and then I'm gonna use a Meguiar's DM Cutting 5 Pad on a dual action polisher. Start on the hood to show you a before and after on how it goes, um, but it's gonna take me a little bit to do this whole ass car. It's gonna be fun, that's for sure.
All right, so I'm finally done buffing the whole car. My gosh, that was a process and a half. But now it's time to prep the surface after it's been decontaminated of any previous waxes or soaps. So in this bottle, I have 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol diluted, six ounces to 22 ounces. You can do the math, I don't really know ratios that well. Um, but I'm gonna go around the whole car and decontaminate with this, get any residual polish that I missed. That's the PA for my work. Uh -huh. But anyway, I'm going to go around and see if I missed any polish or anything like that. I know, I have to take it off. It's peeling. It's peeling. Can't stick my coat over a peeling sticker. It is time. Finally. So I've done the alcohol prep and now it's nothing left to do than do it. So I'm going to start with the roof and go down to the windshield, then the hood, and then I'll go along the sides. And then hopefully I'll be out of here by the time we close because I'm not allowed here after hours.
Alrighty, it is a new day. So, I did the ceramic coating on a Saturday. It is now Monday, so it has had plenty of time to cure so I can drive it home without any issue. I am extremely pleased with the results that I had. Um, I'm actually really jealous though because I'm pretty sure it turned out better than my personal car, but live and, live and learn, I guess. But I will show you the rollers. I am extremely proud of myself um, and how this turned out because it was a nine hour process. It was extremely excruciating started at 6 a.m. I didn't leave until about 3.30 and actually I kind of pulled a couple strings to leave uh, a little after we closed but uh, it is still a worthwhile um, experience for me because it looks fantastic and my dad's gonna be super happy so take a look All right, so I believe that this is the end of the video. Uh, if you watched all the way through, I thank you very much. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a like, comment, do whatever you wanna do. Apart from that, I believe I will just see you in the next video.